good morning guys welcome back to today's video oh shoot i didn't put my hair up oops anyways good morning sophie and i are here at the bar gabby shoot too. i don't think i have an elastic oh i have one in my purse I um but anyways we're here at the barn because we are riding today yesterday it rained it poured rain then it did dry out but anyway we're gonna ride we are gonna ride i'm so excited so this weekend i'm going to another show so we're gonna to try to go to another show yeah so if he's gonna try to go to another show she really wants to go to a show what are you gonna show what are you gonna do hack. she wants to do hack so she is still doing western but she wants to like she's loving storm in the hack but she likes to do the hack because she feels confident in what she's doing so she's gonna ask her western trainer uh to give her like some tips and tricks during her lesson this week and actually i still have a riding lesson that i didn't post and it was a really good one i need to find that and post it okay. from sophie's last western lesson she did something really hard bareback <laughs> remember the tires oh yeah that was kind of easy after i figured out what to do all right so anyways sylvie wants to show and in other news i actually have so many things to tell you okay i have two things to tell you but in other news um old lady night starts tomorrow night so i'm gonna hopefully hopefully it all depends on sam if he's willing because sometimes he gets unwilling and then it causes problems but anyways as long as sam agrees to drive penny into the barn then i'm gonna do old lady lessons so i'm gonna start my old lady lessons i'm excited i'm gonna take lessons on penny maybe one day we could be in some kind of a show i don't know what kind of show would be good for gated but anyway i just took my wasp so we got took my wasp last night she we came out of the barn and she said there. and she said oh there's a wasp and then she said oh, it stung me <laughs> no i'm gonna start chasing me after i hit it <laughs> because after it stung me i hit my arm because i was like what yeah it stung her so she smacked her arm and then it was chasing her so did you run yes right okay so that there's that and you guys you guys probably think oh that's a lot of excitement another show and old lady lessons but no that's not all essentially when we bring our horses home like bringing our horses home is my main priority right now like i just want to get them home and it's all dependent on sam and he's not uh, it's not as much of a priority for him as it is for me so this morning he went to get hay and i said like why can't we have hay at our our new barn because to me having hay there means that the horses are coming home and he said well I'll leave the, because he had to go to an appointment, he said, I'll leave the truck at the barn, at the old barn, take six bales and leave them there and take the rest home. Look at honey. She's already stained. She needs to have a bath today. I know, she does. You can bath her. It's hot enough. She lays in her pee and gets stained. Yeah. It's sad. Let's see if she jumps up and runs. <laughs> we knew it was going to happen. She looks like she has a butterfly stain on her on her side there. Every morning, Storm has hay in his water buckets because when he's eating, he drinks water and he spits all the water out with the hay. Look how short her mane is. Mm, that's fine. I know I keep talking about her color and stuff. It's just because I'm obsessed. So do you think those white spots are spots? I don't know. She's not very appaloosa e. Fine, I just wanted a palomino. Anyway. Yeah, she's a palomino. She's not really palomino. That's either. all that matters. But anyway, so see her coloring? That's what she's going to look like. She's going to be dark where the brown tan spots are, and she's going to be light where the light spots are. Her mom is the same. Her whole belly area is white. She's very thirsty after what she just did. I love watching her drink, though. I like seeing them drink a lot. It hasn't been swept in here yet, so don't judge. <laughs> There's a lot of dust. But our barn is getting really empty and I can't find my boots. My helmet. I don't know where my helmet is. Where's my helmet? Probably in the trailer. Fine. Oh, my helmet's probably in the trailer too. I gotta find my stuff before I can. But yeah, you guys look like this barn be getting empty. Before we leave today, I'll sweep it all out. That's like one of the things that we have to take. I don't know if we'll take that shelf. But we don't, we have a lack of, of, well, I'm going to put the tripod up today. We have a lack of hanging of walls to hang stuff on. What if I bring this shelf over and then I hang bridles and or girths or whatever from that? 
I don't know. Molly we'll... ripped this hole even more. She ripped your shirt, Molly. This hole even more. Oh my god. It was gosh. a hole because I was playing with the puppy, and the poked, his tooth poked a hole in it, and then Molly made it bigger. God, Gabby has problems with dogs. Uh, that's the storm I know. So this is the storm I've been waiting for. Sam and I used to go in his stall, and brush his neck, and scratch his neck, and he used to do this, and he used to look into my eyes and be like, I appreciate I'm you. I see head. you. And he hasn't done it since he came home. He's starting to feel like he's a part of the family again. I do not know where all my stuff is. It's weird. I've been losing everything this past week. Like everything, and that's always a sign. Uh-oh, how am I getting in here? All right, ow. All right, do I have anything here? Gabby's jacket. Um, Gabby's boots. Whose helmet is that? Huh, my helmet. So Chino is a tiny bit foot sore today. So we think it's because his feet are getting long. The farrier doesn't come till next Friday. Our farrier thinks that one of Chino's issues is that when his feet get long, it pulls a little on his lamini and it makes him sore. And we, she's trimmed him before when he's been sore. And she thought that was the problem and he came instantly back. And we've been doing like sooner than normal trims. And when she was here last time, I was thinking because she had to put a shoe on Storm. But she had been away for the whole weekend, so I, she was like in a rush. And I was thinking, oh, I should get her to do Chino's feet. And then I just didn't do it. And that was so stupid of me because now I have to wait. But anyway. So anyway, he's just barely sore. It's like you could just barely tell. Um, but we're not going to ride him. We're like, this is the new protocol. We are playing it by ear with Chino and I got a really nice message on Facebook by some, from someone today and she said that she had the same kind of issue with her horse and it was a lot to do with the feed which is a lot with Chino but um, it took her two years to get her horse completely all the way back she'd have like really good days and up days and then she'd have some down days and uh, we're just in a down day and that's okay but we're on top of it and we're keeping a watch and it's to be expected and that's what we're going to expect. We're going to expect that he's going to have hard days and slow days. But I learned from this that I'm going to just have to have the farrier come an extra time every time for, for Chino. Like it's just going to have to happen. I just want somebody to help me with my saddle. My next, uh, my next, I should have rode in a different saddle. In fact, I'm gonna go get another saddle and I'm gonna ride her today in another saddle and see what happens. So this is my problem. Almost all the saddles home. Oh crap, my other saddle's at home. Okay, so I, I wanted to show you guys something. My other saddle's at home. But I wanna show you guys something. <laughs> Cubby's taking her away. Here's my helmet. Too big. Okay, so this is what I'm trying to like, say to you guys. Penny. Oh my gosh, is she getting on with her coffee in her hand? Yep. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So the trick with Storm is if you move there your you legs. Go. That's your canner for the shell. If you move your legs. Hold on a little bit more with your calves, but they looked good. If you move your legs a little, That's like wiggle them a little, he goes at normal there you speed. Go. Okay. So uh, let me just show them something. Okay, she's. Can yeah. you take a step forward? So look at this. What? If I put, I want to show them that the stir, okay, so see this? She's got like at least four fingers in this space, but her foot is back, so you can't see. To get the girth in the right spot, this part comes far over her shoulders, and I, I don't know if that's what's like it's a Western saddle. bothering her. Oh, sorry, Storm. Isn't this supposed to go over her withers? So this yes. is over her withers right now. This is forward, so 
if this is not forward in front, then this is not going to go over her withers. Okay, so that's what Gabby says. She says this has to be like just over her withers, and that's true. So is it this is just a bad saddle for gated horses because this is what I'm worried about. Where in the heck is her shoulder supposed to be? Like, I feel like her shoulder blade is back here. I don't know. I need help. I so know. anyway, I'm going to bring two saddles to the old lady lesson tomorrow night and then I'm going to get the coach to help me out because I feel like because she doesn't want to go and this is not my horse. She wants to always go. But Gabby... No, it's not. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, now that she knows she's in the lazy house, she's not as much into going forward. But here's my other thing. Gabby pointed out that I'm too uptight when I ride, but it's because everybody says you have to have a straight back. She said to just, like, relax, relax, yeah, relax. Every time I relax, she goes forward a little. You don't look relaxed. You look like you're sitting up so straight. What are you fighting against? She wants to go forward and go to the side. I don't know. I don't know how to ride my horse. So what are you doing? Sitting. You're not telling her anything? No, I'm sitting. <laughs> Sassy pants. Look at our arena. It needs to be dragged so badly, but we're moving this week, so I'm gonna get Sam to bring the thing and rake and do it this week for Sophie's lesson. So I heard Gabby training Sophie and she said, check your rising, you idiot. <laughs> that was today. Yeah, it was today. <laughs> I'm so sad. <laughs> I just want to know that something's not wrong. If it's just me not telling her enough, I have no problem telling her more. But I'm just worried that something's, I think my tack isn't right. And I can't get it out of my head. I need somebody to tell me about my tack and tell me that for sure it's fine or for sure it's not fine for me to get outside of my head and be able to push her. Like I can't push her if she's, if she's being squished somewhere. Like, I just can't. Sit up a little bit more. I know you weren't expecting him to stop that soon. <laughs> I mean, when I'm riding, I don't feel like I'm not relaxed, though. I don't feel worried. I don't feel stressed. I feel relaxed. You look worried and stressed. You look traumatized. Do you know how little kids cling on to horses when you put them on? They're just holding on like that? That's what you look like, except for you look like this. But I have my hands forward and I'm and my reins loose. Yes, but you look like a mannequin. That's how still you are. Yeah, it's because I'm trying to sit straight. You're already sitting straight. Don't even worry about that. All right, so that's my problem. I'm trying to sit straight. not sitting straight. I don't. Like this. I know, and you need to sit straighter. They're going on a hack. Okay, so we came, Sam and I came down, and Sophie came down to the old horse barn. I'm going to clean it today and get it ready just in case we get some new additions to the day by day farm. So if we were someday to get goats, we're thinking that this stall would be perfect. I'll show you. All right, so it has like an indoor, they can just go in and out during the day and they won't be able to get out of there. 
and then over so this is all fenced in all of it this whole thing is all fenced in in a way that they can't get out and then there's that field right there that they can't get out onto the road you better go check there's a whole section here set up for goats with like big rocks and stuff but they can get out of that sam's gonna fix this up and make sure that they can't go through there because they obviously could we're gonna have to figure out how our automatic waterer works and I'm gonna have to clean it because that's gross. So let me show you. So I just need to clean this area, but we want them to like eat the grass and eat the weeds and stuff. But there's this whole area that's completely fenced in, except for the water that they could not get out of. And then when we want to take them places to play and stuff, we have way more options, I'll show you. But I do think like this little indoor outdoor area would be perfect. And then that whole area outside for them. So I'm going to have to clean this all out. It's going to need a good cleaning. We have the little hay feeder here. The only thing I can't figure out are the light switches. Sam, let's bring down uh, some light bulbs. That looks burnt out. I mean, technically, we could have all of our horses over here. Four, five, six, and then have goats in the last stall. Can you get out onto the road from those fences over there in that little field? They can't come over here, which it would it's too bad because there's so much stuff they could eat, but we can bring them over here, but they could climb through this fence to get out. They could climb through that fence to get out. But this is our goat field. Like this is where Sophie and I will bring them all the time. They have all these rocks, so many rocks. They could hop from rock to rock to rock. There's even huge ones. This field right here with the rocks is huge. So we could definitely bring them over here and like spend time with them over here and let them eat grass. There's enough grass for them to eat for sure. There's like six or seven fields, maybe six fields. To like fence the whole side. So yeah, we could fence all the things to make sure that they can't get out and then open everything and just let them roam. That will be the goal. Technically they could even go all the way up there. That's a huge field. Whole side. Sam says that we have to fence, um, fix two gates and one like wall one like two yeah. two gates and one That's wall great. of fencing and That's then they could have a massive amount of of area but when we if we get goats if we get goats <laughs> then they will stay over in this area for now until unless they're supervised while we work on it even if like they wanted to if they even in winter this whole area here would be perfect for them because they have the water and they have the goat feeder the hay feeder on the wall there rocks feel the rocks to sharpen their to file down their little hooves anyway we've been reading up a lot on goats we've had goats before and this water is a double thing anyway it's a possibility you guys so see this little area here and a little shelter over there lots for them to do plus we have like all our big tires and stuff that we can set up oh, for goats right. we can put those in there. they also have this little area like we have a lot of area for goats guys the area that we have for our horses to run we have like that much we have like triple we have like double that much for goats i mean we could even put our horses in some of that area so Sam's going to drag this one more time and then the girls and I are going to come out here and we're going to pick up all the grass and all the rocks and stuff. Maybe get some sand dumped in there. You want, I don't know. I don't, Not sand. I'm against sand. Not sand like the Soil. <laughs> the, sand, the stuff we have in our arena. Yeah, that's nice. Not our arena, I mean the... Indoor arena. Indoor arena. Yeah, is. like even this is not bad. Tomorrow is the day that all the supplies come for us to finish. And hopefully we can bring our horses over on Sunday. We have a horse show on Saturday. Like we're... It's a hopping... It's a happening life, you guys. We have a happening life right now. There's all of our hay. That's not all of our hay, but that's half of our hay that we brought over. Before I end today's video, I want to just show you guys something. So I'm trying to clean this stuff out because unless we put doors on, the horses are going to come in here. I know it. And I don't know if this is hay or if this is straw. I think it's hay. 
Anyways, obviously they did like deep bedding because look at how thick this stuff is. Like, it's this hay is insane amounts of hay. Like you can't even get to the bottom of it. Oh, there's some dirt now. Oh, some wood. But literally, that's how thick it is. That's how thick all this whole thing is. I've been using a lot of this for... Oh, hello. Hi, Allie Belly. Were you in the pool? Um, I've been using a lot of this for the goose and the chicken. I've been... They have like a little nighttime area that they go. And I take it out every morning, clean it every morning, and put fresh stuff in. And then I've been trying to use this all up. But there's a lot of it here. Like a lot of it. Like... Holy heck, man. I'm really excited to move our horses over because the day we move our horses over, maybe it'll be Monday, but the day we move our horses over will be the day that we bring everything. So we bring our mats and we put our mats down and we like put everything up. So it actually looks like a horse barn. Oh my gosh. What the heck, Ellie? <laughs> Doesn't she look like a Yorkie though? Ellie, show them your pretty face. It's a very dirty face. Look at the view. That's the view from the front yard. Is that a bell on the barn? We've been driving around singing songs way too loud because we wanna Picking up a love friends for love to cart to live because we wanna We wanna Don't you know that you're beautiful?